In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize the read more link in the Divi blog module. Let's get started. So let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. We're going to give this page a name. So I'm just going to call this our blog and then click on use Divi Builder. To kickstart this design, we're going to use a pre-made layout. So I'm going to come over here and search for the artificial intelligence layout pack. And what we need is the blog page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and then click on use this layout. Now we need to go into our blog module. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. All right. So when we take a look at our blog post here, we notice that we don't have the read more link or button. So what we need to do is to come over here and search for elements. And then we need to make sure that our read more button here is activated. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And now we see that we have read more. All right, so it's time now to customize our read more text. So I'm just going to hover over here until I see this little print brush icon, click on it. And that takes me straight to my read more text customizations. So I'm going to start here with my font. So I'm going to click here on this drop down and choose my font. And the font I'm going to use is called Balo. Next, I'm going to come over here and make sure this is all set to all caps. And I'm also going to add my color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color like that. Next, I'm going to come over here to my read more text color, click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. By the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the video description below. All right, so let's move on. We also need to add our letter spacing here and we're going to set this to one. So the next part of this tutorial is to align our read more text to the right. So to do that, we need to add a bit of CSS code. So I'm going to come over here to advanced and then go to custom CSS. And I'm going to paste this CSS code and you'll notice right away that everything has moved over now to the right. So in the next example now, I'm going to show you how to style this to make it look like a button. So let's go ahead and do that by pasting this new CSS code in here. And now you can see we have a button, but if you're not happy with the underline, we can always come back over here and uh, stylize it again. So here we are on our read more style. We have our underline selected. I can just click on that to, do, to remove that. So all we have now is just the text and the button. Okay, so moving on in the third example, I also have another design which has even more advanced features. So this time let's come over here to custom CSS, scroll all the way down over here, add a bit of code again, as we did before. And now it has some hover effects. But we're not done yet because in this example now, I'm going to show you how to turn our read more text into something else. Now for this to work, we need some jQuery code. So let's first of all, come over here to the top and add our class. So our CSS class here is going to be uh, this text here. So make sure that you have it correct. Now let's go ahead and add a code module. So I'm going to save this and then scroll down here, click on this plus button and search for my code module. So here it is. I'm going to select it. Here is the code. I'm going to again paste it in here. Now, if you want to use uh, this code, it's going to be in the blog post, which I'll link to in the video description below. So now let's add our tags. So that's the first one. And that is the second one. Now let's take a look at our final design. So first of all, let's save here, publish the page, and then we're going to exit the visual builder and see the final design. So here is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.